It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Did you have good Easter? I did. I did. I had my Easter celebration. Thanks for asking. The four-hour presentation of the Ten Commandments in the theater. Oh, how about that? Oh, man. Those Was guys. it crowded? Sure. Oddly, no. Not a lot of people, not a lot of people there. Maybe that's because it was a beautiful Easter like Sunday and people, people were having nice celebrations oh, with their families CB outdoors. C.B. DeMille comes out and welcomes you to the movie. Oh. And, does, and it ben, go, does it go through all ten? Shut up, Tom. Because <laughs> I figured lately the way, the way things are going, a couple, you, of them, a couple of them probably got knocked out by the woke crowd. That you would have this <laughs> attitude about the Ten Commandments. Ben Mankiewicz from TM. Uh, uh, Turner, I love Ben TCN Mankiewicz. It comes out and welcomes you. Big with, fan. And uh, you know they filmed. Well, is, it. is he the guy that wrote uh, uh, Citizen Kane? He came he's out. Re- he's <laughs> they started filming it in 1953. <laughs> And uh, wrapped her up and released it in 1956. Man, oh man. However, on the big screen, you can see some of the, uh, uh, let's say, shortcomings of the special effects. Yeah, that the parting of the okay, So are all the people, do they all have 50s haircuts greased back with no, vitalis? No, it's Egypt, Tom. It's Egypt. It's uh, Nefertiri and, uh, and Seti and, and uh, Moses and, and Aaron. and uh, Boring. Exactly. Does, it, does, it, does it go through the commandments in order? No, it it's not about like this. That. It's there not a is. study of each commandment. See, that'd be the way to do it. There is a section where <laughs> there is a movie called The Ten that does that. The guy, you can enjoy it. The guy who they got for God's voice, for really good voice actor. Thou shalt have no other God, but in the whoosh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's speaking English, huh? Well, yeah, it's a movie, Tom. <laughs> the burning bush and everything, yeah. In the Passion of the Christ, they speak the original, what, Aramaic or whatever the heck it is. Yeah. Uh, they, should go, go that now, have, that. they should remake it now, but have a lot of commercials endorsements in there. Animal. Look at that burning bush. Well, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's from our friends, uh, the Propane Association. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought you were going to go. Like some redhead would be that's tasteless. I <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't know what I would and do. Now, I think it's cool you went and did that. And now I, from I do it every, Match Light Charcoal. <laughs> It's the last uh, two or three years, they've had it uh, showing at my favorite theater, which so is does quickly it, becoming my least favorite theater, but so I'm hanging in there. Do, so do they accentuate the commandments at each? No, there's a scene where uh, Chuck, that's what his close friends call Yeah, it. Charlton Heston. Sure. Charlton Heston. He goes up to the mountain, and he gets the commandments and brings them down. Mm-hmm. The, 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 remember, does remember, he read? Does he read through them at all? Remember history of the world. These fifteen, <laughs> yeah, and he drops, drops five of them. <laughs> These ten commandments. <laughs> Hilarious stuff. Uh, no, he, no, he doesn't read. The, there are now. You have to see the movie, Tom, and you, you. Devil lover, and yeah. evidently. I just don't have four uh, hours to kill on a beautiful oh, day. I was so good. So busy good. doing home repair. So good. Were you? Yes, I was. <laughs> well, well, don't keep it to yourself. What'd you do? Oh, it's, it's way too boring. No, I didn't get on the light I went bulbs. to the Ted Kendom. I was in a movie watching the Ten Commandments for four hours. I was walking dogs, washing cars, fixing showers. Finding obscure light bulbs. It was a great. Does he great really Easter. do all of it? Does he fix anything, or does he make stuff work and worse, and then calls Mark? I don't know. He's home alone right now, so there's oh, no, there's, there's no, no, there's no clue knowing what's going on over there. It's him. It's like it's it's, ironing it's, outside. Oh. It's like Home Alone, a risky oh. business, except he's the adult. The word doddering comes to mind. <laughs> when he's home alone, you can hear through the neighborhood. When you pull through the gate, you can hear. I'd love to see your dad at one point at at night walk outside, stand in the front yard, and go, I'm not afraid anymore. (laughs) You hear me? (laughs) Could you imagine if I were just to go over to my dad's house and I walk in a room and he's just listening to some music, sitting down reading a magazine? I'd be like, no, what is this? You're supposed to be cleaning something or wandering around with your shirt off, only wearing striped pajama pants? I need to hire Elmer Fudd. Oh, really? I have a rabbit problem. Oh, boy. It's driving my dogs crazy. Rabbit problem, Digging up the yard. Well, uh, the dogs are having a great time. Just let them handle it. Aren't the dogs the answer to the rabbit problem? Yeah. Yeah. Don't just open that door? (laughs) 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 Although, arguably, you probably, you have goats, as far as I'm concerned. They eat everything. Everything, trash and shoes and belts. And yeah, but it was, oh, I'm fine. Everything's good. Everything's good. Uh, l- I'm l- not afraid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Get the house. Coming up next.
Did you do anything special for uh, Easter there, uh, Josh? Oh, you know what I did? I had uh, Mr. Godwin and uh, son over for uh, some steaks. We grilled up some ribeyes and uh, fillets. And, and uh, when did the uh, fire department leave? <laughs> Well, no, I was doing the grilling. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Jimmy, you know, he meant the fire, Jimmy, was, was Jimmy sure. said. In your yeah, right, room. right, right. Oh, yeah, that. that, that. <laughs> no, the, Jimmy only did one thing that was sort of uh, uncouth, I think. Uh, wouldn't you say, Pat, you guys were uh, literally at, standing at your car to leave? He takes the shirt off to get in the car, and he smells his armpits. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That was weird. But uh, <laughs> so he's, he's already like a bachelor. Oh, uh, as they're getting ready to leave, uh, Jimmy goes, oh, wait, I, I'm going to use the restroom oh, real right. quick. And he went in, and he uh, dumped up my house. <laughs> he uh, really left one in there for me. Did he flush? He didn't that flush? Means, by the way, Pat lives... 45 seconds from me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're leaving. Josh, can I use your uh, toilet? Well, sure. We thought yeah. Just that really is not cool. And then he came out and he goes, uh, you're out of toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so, he had so, a fine so, meal. So, you, so then you shook his left hand. <laughs> you know, but an another way to look at this is that uh, he, that's some fine parenting. He thinks just so much of himself, which is hard to do nowadays. You get your kid to love themselves. That's how I like to look at it. It's like, I'll yeah. just, I'll give Josh a treat. I'll leave him something of my I can, I can top that. Uh, well, think, well, that's think, what conversation's all about, isn't and, it? And Willie, <laughs> Willie is my witness. It's a conversation. Willie is my witness. We were visiting a friend of mine, <laughs> and he lives on kind of a, a cliff on a lake, and uh, so we were putting the boat away, and we hear uh, Charlie up on the... Well, this is the famous just go off the dock story. You, when a kid asks, I'm gonna go, I have to go to the bathroom, and the guy goes, well, yeah, just go off the dock. Uh, <laughs> so Charlie's up on the deck way up above, and he shouts down, I have to go to the bathroom. I said, just go off, just, just go off the deck. Not realizing that it was a, a <laughs> deuce, if you will. Oh, boy. Yes. Uh, oh, well. He was a young boy at the time. I, I, should, I should point out he was a young lad. It would have been quite awful if he'd been, say, 16. <laughs> Coming up next. <laughs> there he goes. You're nailing it. Oh, yeah, you look at that back. It's like he has a hinge right at the base of his back. <laughs> Ace Cosby's our engineer, and where's Josh? Where is he? Not my day to watch him. And no one is... Uh, <laughs> That's not my day to watch him. That's not my day to watch him. There's no knowing what Chick's going to say next. Wait a minute, no one is occupying the orangeinsoles.com sidekick desk or chair. Ah, uh, well, well... You know, or, uh, orange insoles, you know what they say, feel better, do more. Uh, free shipping with the code Bob and Tom. And mm -hmm. Has anybody checked on him? Mm -mm. I this saw is, him in the hallway. Is he, is he okay? Are we going to conduct a, a search to find a new sidekick, or are we just going <laughs> to grab anyone off the street? <laughs> uh, Jessica, what have you got over there? Coinstar has stepped in to help a Georgia man who received his last paycheck in pennies. Last month, Andreas Flatten said his former employer dumped at least 90,000 oil-covered pennies on his driveway as a form of final payment for his work at an auto shop. Coinstar decided to help Flatten by picking up the coins last week, and it rounded up the amount to give Flatten a $1,000 check. The company also made donations to two charities of Flatten's choosing, two animal shelters. That's nice. CEO Jim Gar Garrity and... Yeah. Excuse me. CEO Jim Garrity said Coinstar has been in the coin business for 30 years and we process approximately 41 billion coins annually. So picking up 91,000 pennies was all in a day's work. This is the guy that his, when he left, his boss was upset. So he gave him his final. I think they went to court or something and he paid him in greasy pennies. So we'd have to spend forever getting more. That's nice oh, of Coinstar. What a jerk. Yeah. Um, Pat, you ever Sunday morning find yourself at a coin star? Saturday morning, <laughs> Sunday morning, <laughs> Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> uh, it's it's a sweet story. Good for them. I I still would like to know what he did to upset. Uh oh, them. I what? see something coming. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Josh is what? entering the room in his beautiful <laughs> new orange suit and hat, a orange feather boa. <laughs> It's bright orange, that's right. Oh, it's and it's their tails, ladies and gentlemen. That is a nice orange, too. It's the new orangeinsoles.com 
suit. You have really raised the bar for the rest of us and our sponsors. That I have had uh, manufactured. Uh, man, oh man. I hope you like it, Pat, because pretty soon you're going to be in the Oxford Gold 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 like Lame suit. Gold Lame. Josh, that looks great. Isn't this terrific? No, it doesn't. My goodness. It looks ridiculous. Are you kidding me? He's got an orange top hat with feathers on it, a boa. <laughs> Uh, I do like the boa. Oh, 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 oh. And it's not oh, a tux. Oh. It is actually tails, and Josh is dancing. That is so nice. Josh, I don't mean to be rude. I was just staring at your crotch. Everything was inviting me down that way. I don't That's know right. why. It's an invitation. Kind of looks like, like a pimp. His yeah, crotch like tells a story. Illusion, He's a see. Cheeto pimp. What milliner, right. what local milliner put together that hat for you? There's feathers in there? Oh, the same uh, kind lady, that uh, the seamstress that made the uh, suit. That is really nice. Hat maker, hat maker, make me a hat. Name I eludes me. Denise. Or eludes me. Denise, Denise yes, yes, of course, yeah. Of course. Uh, boy, I'll hear about that. Oh. Well, I, uh, that. That is so awful that should you get married, I'd pay for the wedding if you wore that. <laughs> I would like to apologize. I naysayed this idea. I did not. This is the best idea anybody on this show has ever had. This I'd is like, genius. This is better than I thought it was going to be. I'd like to naysay it and that I wasn't uh, critical enough of it seeing it now. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no! I know it's radio, yourself? but that is a nice suit. Have you seen yourself? Is that a feather? You know what I have, and you know what? I like what I see. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to let you. All right. Oh, it looks like you're yeah, at, it's in some kind of weird circus, and you're the... This is the last step. Is that everything you hope to be, Tom? You're a barker. <laughs> he, oh, it's wonderful. He, he wants to tell us what to say, and now he's telling us... How to dress. I, I'm a new man in this. Your transformation from man to puppet <laughs> is complete. You know what? It feels pretty good. Oh. You look very nice. You right. look very nice. Oh, I can't wait until um, we get the gold lame suit for Pat now. You're already over me. <laughs> Do you have a belt? Josh? You got a belt? Oh, he doesn't have headphones on. Oh, oh. He, he, oh. Pat wants to know if you have a belt. Oh, that's the only way to go, man. Uh, I do have a belt. The belt loops are too uh, thin for my belt. Um, we can get some suspenders. Yeah, we'll get something. Okay, Orange it's, suspenders. It's, it's this nice. is there terrific. Go. It feels good. It's comfortable. It's okay. light. Good. We'll get some photographs Harry? on the uh, various Bob and Tom social Harry? media platforms. In the meantime, we wait, go wait, back wait, to Ms. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it. Is this going to be the rest of the morning, him sitting there like that? Uh -huh. I hope so. <laughs> it's fun to look at from behind, too. Just that hat is amazing. It is. Thank you. Boa. Thank you very much. Is the Thank behind you. kind of attractive to you? I'll show oh, you my butt. It's covered with the tails, well. the amazing tails. But when he starts moving... Do the show flip. off that ass. Oh. There it is. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> How about a little ass for that ass? <laughs> look at that orange wiggle. Oh, my. It looks like a little chicken dance. Look at that. <laughs> i got to shake my tail feather, don't look I? like a creamsicle. <laughs> I do look like he a He does. With the white shirt, he does look like a creamsicle. He's people like are taking videos like this is something people want to see. <laughs> look at him. I'm a dreamboat dreamsicle. <laughs> That's right. Uh, well, let's move on. Uh, Jessica, what have we got at the uh, Navy Federal Credit Union news desk? Who wants a lick of this uh, dream sickle? <laughs> <laughs> and now here's Josh with his big hit, Dream Sickle. Dream, dream sickle, a lick on me, oh, baby. Dream sickle, kiss me on my body. <laughs> Who want to lick a dis a dream sickle? Uh, who want to lick a dis a dream sickle? You can give me a tickle and a dream sickle. But, uh, well, of course, right. the song that always makes Josh dance. Well, oh, yeah. oh my God. I don't know wow. if the appropriate oh, time. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the headphones are off. The orange suit, the top oh, hat. I can't hear it. I'm a hard working man. Go, go. <laughs> there he goes. You're nailing it. Oh, yeah, you look at that back. It's like he has a hinge right at the base of his back. Oh, oh those are all good moves. Thank you very much. Brooks and Dunn, ladies and gentlemen. We should send that to... Uh, Case yeah. Brooks and uh, no. Ronnie Dunn. <laughs> Why don't you? Send, to the, that'd, send that'd, it to the boys. Yeah, that'll kick the restraining order back. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mentioned Josh at the orangeinsouls.com site. Yes, desk Josh and chair. is your favorite. We all know. <laughs> a, 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 looking, looking good today, Josh. 18 days You're, until Josh, the Joshiversary, his oh. fourth. Uh, fifth. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. How are you, Donnie? 
I'm good. I'm not you, chick. I get so sick and tired of Josh being the teacher's pet regular. <laughs> Thank I swear you. to God. Thank you, Josh. I always had that same dick in school, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry, Doug. Yeah, you can have to go to the library. I don't know about <laughs> you guys, but I've been on spring break for the past week. Oh, cool. Where are you? I've been butt chugging beers off fire ass hot chicks, Tom, down at the beach. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, it's so hot, I should have packed a fire distinguisher. I've been <laughs> swimming in it. It's one chick, Tammy. Uh -huh. She had so much booty, you could set up a boom box on it and still have enough room for a red solo cup on it. Oh, uh, baby's got back. <laughs> Anyways, I'm partying 24-7. <laughs> then, um, all of a sudden, Tammy and her friends got this idea they want to try one of these escape rooms. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Now, well, if you don't know what escape room is, it's basically just an activity like um, go-karts or bumper cars. <laughs> right. But way more expensive and way less fun. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, because what you do is you and your friends go to this place, and you each pay like 50 bucks a piece to get locked in a room and argue until there's a domestic for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and they lock you inside a theme room together. Ours is like... um. Roaring Twenties, uh -huh. you know, it's all decorated like back during um, medieval times, during mm -hmm. prohibitions, and <laughs> full of gangster stuff and speakeasies. Right, then they twenties. got a bunch of clues you're supposed to find. And then that unlocks a bunch more locks to give you more puzzles, like you're living inside an actual story problem. I hate being quizzed. I swear to God. <laughs> I lost my temper. I was more mad when Sling Blade ran out of mustard. If I wanted to do that kind of stuff, I wouldn't have dropped out of small engine repair school after two semesters. Sure. And the worst part is you don't even get to smash nothing. Oh. Of course, they didn't tell me this until after we started. So now I'm on the hook for a small chandelier and antique diving parts, you know? <laughs> And what's even dumber is, you don't. If you don't solve the clues after an hour, they just let you out. Oh. So it's more like a try to escape room. Yeah. If you, yeah. if you can't escape, no big deal, because they got another group of suckers coming in. After you. Well, they can't just let you stay in there. I mean, come on. But what's the purpose of it, Tom? You know, I thought things were going to be worth it though, because uh, afterward, Tammy and her friend, this other chick, Jessica. They followed me back to my hotel room. Right. Oh. And they told me we was going to play a game called X-Rated Escape Room. Oh, nice. Oh, boy. And they zip-tied me to the bed. Huh. And they stripped me buck naked, and then they escaped with my wallet, <laughs> my pager, and brand-new flip phone. Oh. Pretty God. Huh. Didn't even get so much as a dry rub tuggy out of it. Oh, Could have been worse, though. My wallet was empty because I'd spent all my money on the first stupid escape room. <laughs> yeah. And then the maid came in and found me, and we ended up hitting it off, and not just because she had bolt cutters. I've always had real good luck with maids. Really? Free tip from Donnie Baker. Just say, well, the sheets are already dirty. How about we add to it? Uh, Swear to God. That works. You'll have her say an oh, poppy, and make it more noise than the ice machine. No charge for that, neither. I'm going to go. All right. He's always had good luck with maids. Uh, making more noise than the ice machine. That is, That should be a T-shirt. Okay, thank you very much, Donnie. You ever done one of those escape rooms? No, I don't. I would not care for it. I do not work well with others. Our buddy... Uh, <laughs> in certain... Wait, certain wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Our buddy Jimmy Pardo used to host a uh, game show, Escape Room. And uh, it was on Saturday. I watched it Sunday. I was in the uh, habit of watching it Sunday mornings. It's not on anymore, but it was really good. I think it was on the Science Network or something. <laughs> Yeah. I Any more details that. about it? And then <laughs> it was really good. They, yeah. You know, Jimmy would come on and he would make those comments that he makes that are really funny. You know, him being a stand-up comedian. Mm -hmm. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Because uh, some stand-up comedians say stuff and it's not funny. Who? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't see, a while. See, that was funny. I'm sorry. Uh, Jessica Allsman sitting in for Christy Lee. What else have you got over there? A giant statue of Marilyn Monroe is returning to Palm Springs and not everyone is happy about it. No. NBC Palm Springs reports the 26-foot tall statue, which depicts the actress during the inf infamous dress scene in the seven-year itch, oh, yeah. sure, sure. is set to be unveiled on Museum Way on April 25th. Now, Jessica, have you seen a picture of this? Yes. So you know the famous scene where the subway goes by and it blows the dress mm -hmm. up? So it's a huge statue of that. It's, just, it's great. Yeah. We often overlooked by the Academy, Tom Yule. He's true. It's a great movie. <laughs> Can you, how, how tall is it? It's 26 
feet. That's the tall. problem, you Can see. Can you walk? Well, that's, well, let her finish the Some story. Some residents see. have complained of the view that the statue will provide. Scott Slayham, the museum's director of marketing and communications, said, quote, it's a somewhat sexualized representation of Marilyn Monroe, different from the film and the way it's going to be placed as people exit the front of our museum. They're going to be staring at her panty-clad backside. Yeah. And it just does not seem appropriate. 26 feet seems excessive. Miss Alta Hester, a Palm Spring resident, said they've been showing some pictures of how you might come out of the museum and just be looking at her butt. It's just, you know... It's just not right. Get over it, you prude. Oh. Um, and you can easily walk between between her legs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. easily. And you and you are looking right at her panties and there you are. Uh, you think all they're right. upset about this, though. They're gonna... I don't think this is going to be defaced at all. What about you, John? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, you think they're upset about the Marilyn Monroe statue, wouldn't Wait till they see that Sharon Stone statue that's going on. Oh, boy, yeah, that's, that, will, that is the entrance to the museum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm reading a little bit more about this Marilyn Monroe statue. All right, that's, oh, that's a little tasteless. Oh, what's that? Well, they, they, they put one of those uh, misters. Uh, <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah. That seems inappropriate. On, on hot days. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That seems, I mean, I like to stay cool. Yeah. But that seems a little much. That's the fan rough. with the water yeah, spray. Yeah, that's a little... Uh, <laughs> Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more.